Hey guys, Marcel here from Score Esports, and today we talk to Vizi Chachi after I would say a pretty decent week, right? How do you feel? Ah uh, yes, we actually wanted to go like 2-0, especially after winning the first games of the series, but we ended up 1-1. I guess it's a fine result, but uh, it's not the best because you are dropping a lot of points meanwhile. So we obviously aim for the 2-0, but I guess it's fine. Okay, so uh, what are your thoughts on like uh, yesterday's and today's games, like gameplay-wise? Are you like satisfied on how you played the map and how you played as a team together, or what were there, like points where you would say, "Hey, we need to improve on that area, especially moving forward"? Mm. The first games in both series, I was satisfied with because we played controlled, uh, was always in control of the game, had vision control, speed pushing was going good, like everything was working out. And in the second games, we always somehow lost control, maybe it's related to key champions being removed from us. So that's what we should look forward to working on in the next week. When they remove these key champions, we should still have the same strength as in game one. All right, so um, I think Unicorns had like a pretty rough start. And leading up to this point right now, you guys seem to be on the steady rise, right? So what causes this? Like, what is the, the biggest thing, the biggest improvement that you guys made from like week one to like week four or week five right now? Mm. I think at first we improved on our macro and uh, it was steadily getting better. Already showed results against G2 that we were getting early leads against Vitality as well. And then we improved on our fighting in the uh, last weeks and we became better in that regard as well. So I feel like we are on like a good rise. But uh, the thing that I mentioned earlier we really need to work on that when key champions are removed, we need to be the same strong as with key champions. All right, cool. Um, I think in an earlier interview with you, you just said to us that uh, you believe that XLA, like once he gets comfortable on stage, that he will actually show up, right? So he has been playing a lot better on stage. And how did he f like? How does he feel right now in comparison to like other weeks? Does he like fit better in the team? Is he more vocal with you guys? Does he have like a bigger role in shot calling, maybe even in map play? Um, no, I actually don't notice like anything like that. It's rather that he just plays more solid and better. And uh, he communicates a lot through mid lane all the time when mid laner goes missing or anything like that. So he's doing his role pretty good right now. So um, I think right now the, the playing field, like the, the middle of the pack teams, I think G2 is like at the top and then everything else basically, everyone is beating everyone, right? Everyone is tying. What's your feed right now of like where Unicorns is right now? Are you still like being able to contend for playoffs? Are you just barely scratching like to get in like seventh place or like what's your, your feeling right now based on like results like the last two weeks maybe? Mm, maybe sixth place. Yeah. I feel like we always get sixth place somehow. So that's what I aim for right now, like with the team. Uh, if we get sixth place, there's playoffs and after playoffs anything can happen. It's best of fives. If we prepare well for the best of five, we can even march to the finals. So like now playoffs and I think it's like a realistic goal because uh, there are a lot of ties as you said and there are a lot of points being dropped so if we can get like a 2-0 week or like 4-0 let's say uh, by any chance then it's really good chances to get into the playoffs. So um, I think okay comparison to last split where there was like a best of one still Unicorns could always like they were the team that always cheats like a game maybe with like different picks mm -hmm. And whatever, and now that it's like one-one, you guys seem to drop like a lot more second games. Do you feel that teams get like prepared better playing against you guys with the best of two because they know can like just remove key champions as just said, and it will actually become a lot harder to win the best of five maybe in this playoffs comparison to others. Mm. Actually, when when we go into the second games and we lose, I always feel like in the third game we could uh, probably adapt as well and beat them again. So. Maybe our adaptation to the second game is something we need to work on and something we are lacking because we should anticipate the key champions being removed and we actually do and uh, we think that our drafts are good and then it, in the game it turns out that maybe not so much. So maybe we just need to practice more with uh, like mm, less key champions so we get used to them as well. All right, best of luck moving forward. Thank you so much for this interview. And if you guys want to check out more stuff, thescoreesports.com is the website to go to. Download our app, make sure to watch all the interviews, and see you guys next time.